The information value chain. This is an important part of competitive intelligence, market information. The information value chain actually show you the whole line between the raw information and the intelligence a user does need to make decisions and to go steps further. Well, from the moment you have raw information, the first step in your information value chain is that you get it into one list, like in a Google search. The results of a search is a long list. That list it just depends, they say, it may be difference in, in where you search from and relevance, these sort of things. It's difficult, you're not certain. So what we're actually looking for is that process between a long list of information, which is of all sorts of things, and information or upgraded information on the value chain towards intelligence, where an end user says, yeah, this is really worth it. I'm now making my decisions upon that. I trust that the way it is clustered and grouped and, and, and value added and, and interpreted and analyzed, well, um, the end user is much more helped if we go through a process like that. Now the first step from a list, we want to cluster it under the different topics. So we cut that list up and we say under each topic, under each branch, there we have a shorter list of information relevant to that heading. That already gives a lot more clearance. Now. The next thing that within each cluster, you say, well, certain news topics or titles are much more relevant to what the user is looking for. So I place that higher in a priority. I prioritize the content of my clustered list. So for each topic in the cluster, I make a little list prioritized. Then under each number in the prioritized list and make a very little abstract because a title alone often doesn't say enough and by making it just a few lines that represent the content of the whole article as a user of all that information I can suddenly start reading and have a real sense of what sort of articles what sort of content from most important to less relevant under each topic in the cluster is available Good libraries, good information services, knowledge centers will do that within an organization to help their uh, 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 knowledge workers. So this is an important step. Abstracting can be done automated as well. Of course, the best abstracts are done by people. That is a very expensive thing. Researchers will be busy making short abstracts. Sometimes when articles are more scientific, abstracts are given with them, but then they're often still one or two pages long. And what you're actually are looking for are short abstracts of two, three lines that gives you an impression what the content is about. So that the receiver of a clustered and prioritized bunch of information very quickly can scan through that and see what is of relevance and what isn't. And because it is prioritized, often what is of relevance will, find, will be found in the, in the top part of these abstracted lists. Let's go to the next one. Alerted. You don't want to wait till you receive stuff or you have to go out and say, well, is there still anything new on this, this, this list of abstracted cluster prioritized information? Preferably, you get sort of a signal like an email, an alert in a portal or maybe it is sent to you in a specific location in a knowledge base or you are alerted as a community or a user group of certain specific information so that you know something new is now in that information array and I want to read up because I want to be on top of all the information that's coming in on certain topics. That alerting function is very important within that value chain. But still the information inside is not changed yet. It is still information. Now, there is an important step. Information becomes intelligence the moment we do something with that. If we analyze it, if we're looking for certain trends and we say, we, and that is very important, we visualize it or we, we, we make it in such a short, abstracted way, we say, well, this is what we see when we see all the information together. Uh, this is sort of a trend, this is the way it moves, this is how we can benchmark, a benchmark actually that you can compare content between different areas. This is how we see that shares and ratios are actually rep be represented in um, what we have selected. That moment you analyze content, analyze information, and you 
publish that in that moment it is intelligence and it is of so much more value for the user because instead of reading everything and coming to certain final conclusions um, this is what they actually get for free and they can just take that on board because you as a knowledge center or information professional or an intelligence officer you actually make that information richer by making this analysis and making that into a visualization but you can even go further than that you can say i don't even uh, just come with the analysis each and every analysis you can draw certain conclusions and for example on conclusions you can even say you know what i give it a traffic light i say if it is a negative conclusion a red light or a positive one a green light or an orange light when it's a neutral one or simply my conclusions will be um that that i say well this is my observation when i all see it together and when i do see a trend or a benchmark this is what i observe conclusions whoever makes the analysis always will be the same now now we go to the last step if you are very experienced and you give an interpretation of the conclusions then you can start giving recommendations and you can say well obviously these are the trends that I see but be aware and then you start to bring much more into the context from your experience and you give recommendations if you now go to the total slide of the information value chain and you go from the normal pile of information to a list to clustered prioritize abstracted and then you make the sidestep to alert it yeah, and analyzed concluded and finally recommended so there are a few important borders to cross first of all the moment you start to analyze material it diverts away from being just information even when it is enriched and much more useful it becomes intelligence then the, it still remains intelligence even when you bring in conclusions because that is still general uh, but the moment you start to recommend you actually become a consultant an advisor in that value chain you really step up because you bring it into a context of experience that's it that's the general information concerning the information value chain thank you